What is going on guys? It is your boy RSR from RSR Collections and guys, happy Friday, right? Um, we're gonna break down a few things, guys. We're gonna break down a few things. Uh, one of them being, uh, guys, the Adidas Addy 2000 Yugi's World uh, shoe, right? I'll have it somewhere up here. Uh, dropped yesterday, right? It was 10 o'clock central. Um, well, my time's on central, right? So that's why I'm, I'm saying it's 10 o'clock in the morning central. And guys, how how was it for you? Because I'm gonna be honest, like this this will be a very short rant in terms of how bad the experience was for me, your boy RSR, um, for the team, right, for the squad at the rate of collecting at uh, J Rock of the Collector. It was it was bad, man. Like um, I guess this is just gonna end up me being a rant, but like, yo, Adidas website, man, the app, like you guys you guys gotta figure that out. Like just to show you guys the experience, if you if you weren't part of this was you you hit the refresh button right you get in at 10 o'clock and for some people the app was working from what i've heard and for some people the websites don't work and guys they were both equally as bad like it, it, i can't even explain to you so you go in you refresh sizes didn't even come up you, you had to spam that refresh button a little bit sizes finally came maybe like a minute afterwards right so it's like 1001 1002 click on the size right you already you can already see some uh, some sizes are already like you know like um grayed out and whatever right click your size right four left obviously i don't believe it but it is what it is hit the click button goes into your cart i'm legitimately spamming the checkout button with my credit card information with klarna with paypal like i'm just trying to get it somewhere and guys it didn't work man like literally that shoe was stuck in my cart for at least 20 minutes and i thought i could get lucky that somebody was gonna give up and i could just go back go go into the swoop hit refresh click and buy because i'm not i'm not gonna lie one time my uh my checkout button was actually spinning for a while and i thought i got it nope go towards like 10 30 guys around, this is a half hour after drop the app finally showed the sizes after it being uh after it being um showed that it was sold out right at 10 o'clock what is going on so like that, that's just my short rant about it guys um obviously if you guys are watching this you're probably a Yu Gi Oh fan i hope at least uh, whether you're a player in the game or you collect for nostalgia but like come on guys as a Yu Gi Oh fan like that that was terrible that was a terrible experience but uh, going back into Yu-Gi-Oh, guys, uh, let's talk about something else. Uh, there's some new reprints of products, and I don't know if anybody's touched base on this, though. Uh, one of them being is the, guys, if you remember, the Egyptians, uh, the Egyptian god uh, Structure Decks. There's actually going to be a reprint, and I'm going to assume there's, they're going to be unlimited, coming out within the spring to summer. Don't know exactly what months they are, I just remember seeing them in a uh, in a system here, if you will. And it actually does show uh, Slife of the Sky Dragon and the Egyptian God, um, sorry, Slife of the Sky Dragon and Obelisk Egyptian God structure decks. No different than when the Saga Blue Eyes structure decks came out of nowhere, unlimited of course, but um, I guess they're really capitalizing the market or Konami's just running out of ideas. Um, and obviously everybody knows about this already, 25th anniversary um, Yu-Gi-Oh products. I'll have pictures of what I'm talking about somewhere in these frames. And the cool thing about it, I, in my opinion, it's cool. Not only can you pre-order the booster boxes, you will be able to get the blisters as well. So this might be basic information that everybody knows, or you don't know at all. But if you guys didn't already know, I'm going to reprint Egyptian Broad Structure decks. Uh, and I guess on to the last thing, guys, before I get off, uh, you know, the space cam, if you will is guys check out your local game stops you'd be surprised what they have for either Yu-Gi-Oh product or pokemon product i'm not saying specifically sealed or specifically accessories but um guys you check in canada at least if you check out your local game stops a bunch of accessories for pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh went on clearance guys i'm talking deck boxes for like starting at a dollar i'm talking uh, that's one i'm talking play mats starting at like five dollars i think um i'm talking um the speed duel stuff guys the speed duels gx stuff is dropped a ton of money guys it's literally on clearance and in my opinion it's just so worth copying any of these accessories who doesn't like an extra play mat who doesn't like an extra um deck box and no and more importantly who doesn't like to protect the cards guys that's right sleeves sleeves are also on sale guys um any of any of the um any of the themes range from IP Mascarena all the way up to, I believe, the hero stuff. Because Albaz was in between that and the Karibo stuff as well, too. So, guys, check out your local GameStop. I'm going to quickly break down the products that we scooped. And, um, yeah, we'll go from there. And then just to end the video, guys, we'll also open a few packs. 
and um, that's also going to be featuring the latest set in the TCG, Amazing Defenders. And yeah, all right, let's go see what we got. Cool. We'll start off with, you know, let's start off with a smaller bag. Why not, guys? At the end of this, you will open like at least five packs. Uh, guys, of course, Amazing Defenders just came out. If you already have it, stop by your locals and pick up a couple of packs, a box today. But guys, let's start off with uh, bag number one for all these clear out accessories, guys. So first off, on our clearance accessories from GameStop, guys, we got the uh, Albaz um, portfolio, guys. So right there, the price says it's 14 bucks. I paid $7, guys. $7, right? So if you guys haven't seen this before, I'm sure most people have, but in case you haven't in a while, because maybe it's sold out at your locals right away, right? Look at the back. Oh, I've actually never seen the, the back art of this portfolio. That's actually kind of nice. So guys, $7 just for one binder. Let's put that off to the side. Just because we don't have enough space here. <laughs> Next up, we got, to keep up with the Albaz, I guess, theme, we also have the Albaz um, Ecclesia Tribe Grade deck box, guys. Remember, these are all clearance, um, kind of straight from Konami products, right, from your, that you would find at your OTS stores or just retailers, right? This one was, I believe, $3 for a deck box, guys. Three bucks. What else do we have going on here? We also have, ah, one of my favorites, the Elemental Hero deck box. This one was, I believe, $2, if I'm not mistaken, two or three bucks, somewhere around there. So the hero, like guys, I'm a Heroes player, y'all know, this art is sick. I keep forgetting that the back shot of uh, this deck box is Flame Wingman, right? You got the Miracle, um, Miracle Fusion logo there. And then skyscraper there, right? So really sweet deck box. Remember, these all have dividers too. If anything, like I'm actually going to be using these as like cases for my Nindroids. Um, so when I carry them around, it makes it easier. You know what I'm saying? And to end of bag number one, guys, we have the Albaz sleeves. So these ones were, I believe, two dollars if I'm not mistaken. So dirty, you guys. And these this sleeve art is actually really nice too. I don't mind these at all. So that is the end for bag number one. I think I might even have my receipt here too. Let's see. Sorry, Albaz sleeves are $3, Albaz case was $4, and the Hero case was $3. So just a little bit off <laughs> by a dollar each. But um, guys, I was right about the portfolio. $7, guys. Let's move on to bag number two. One of the bigger accessories, guys, that we have is the IP Mascarena playmat, guys. Holy, holy geez, guys, look how dusty this is. I'm telling you, man, sometimes GameStop's underrated for carrying, like, anything Yu-Gi-Oh! or even Pokemon related for that matter, right? This one, I believe, was a, uh, is at least a $7 playmat. Well, regular price right there. But if you guys haven't seen the IP playmat, I think I've used it on this channel before, but I ended up selling it off to a good buddy of mine. But that is what the playmat looks like, guys. Two arts of IP masquerade. Mind you, I only grabbed what I could find, right? <laughs> I only grabbed what I could find. We got another binder, guys. Speaking of IP, we got the IP Mascarena portfolio as well. This one was, I believe, around $6, right? So I believe, yeah, so this was the Maximum Gold alt art that they did, and then in the back is the uh, original IP Mascarena art. So guys, not bad. In my opinion, not bad for some of these accessories. And like I said, it wasn't just Yu-Gi-Oh that was actually on clear out. There's a few Pokemon accessories that went on sale, guys. So this is the, um, how do you say this? Is it the Alolan like ice type playmat? I, I don't know. Like I don't know like the theme of this um, Shiver Veil. Again, I don't know what the theme was for this Pokemon playmat. I only bought it because um, because one, the art is amazing. If I could just you know, the camera to focus zoom in, like that art is amazing. Plus Alolan Vulpix, guys, like kind of sick. Um, Articuno, very sick, and then freaking what's his name? Um, what's his name down there in the corner? It's just hilarious. Like this is a really nice mat. I might even start using this for filming, uh, or I might even just use this for like even still playing Yu-Gi-Oh too. Like this is a really nice color, like white colored theme uh, play mat that I will be using, and it is ten dollars, guys. So I think that was the most expensive accessory I bought out of everything <clears throat> in the haul, guys. And we're actually winding down to. And remember guys, if you're bored of this, you can fast forward to the end of the video, closer to the end of the video, and we're gonna open some packs, right? So I'm just gonna grab everything out of this bag already. Going back to sleeves, we got two sets of hero sleeves, guys. They were three dollars, so a whopping total six bucks for some hero sleeves. These ones were a steal, guys. The Karibo 
uh, deck box, guys. So I already have the playmat, but one dollar. And I got two. Like, this is a steal, boys and girls. One dollar for a Konami, like, themed deck box, guys. And Karibo's an OG, right? Super duper steal. Last but not least, guys, so these aren't accessories. These are actually somewhat sealed products. For any of you Speed Duels fans out there, uh, if you again, you guys might even be still able to find these at your local game stops, including these discounted accessories. But the Speed Duel GX Dual Academy box, guys, this one is going on for, I believe, around $15, $16, guys. Remember, you get all the, um, you get all the, um, um, all the decks that they have here for you. <clears throat> the themes of them, right? You got Jaden. Actually, it's right over here. You got Jaden. You got Aster, Chaz, uh, Crowler, Alexis, Rose. Let's go. <laughs> Jesse Anderson, Zane Truesdale, and Axel Brody, guys. And I believe there's actually a pack two in here um, for some various secret rares. There, there you go. Eight secret rare upgrades, guys. Right? So I remember back then, before, I think uh, the reason why Dash dropped in price back then was because the secret rare reprint got announced in here, right? So. And then obviously your 20 skill cards and yeah, you name it guys, you name it. So for $15, <clears throat> if you guys are a fan of keeping sealed collections um, or yeah, collecting sealed products, like for $15, you can't really go wrong. Or if you want to crack it open just with a nostalgia, still $15 for all that great stuff, man. Not a problem at all. Then last but not least, we got the extension that goes to the Dual Academy GX box, which is the Midterm Paradox box, guys. These will be one of the things we'll be opening today, and that is because there is a pack of secret rares, I believe a pack of four cards in this box, guys. So we will be cracking this open, and these are some examples that you can get to, right? You got Tempest, you got uh, one of um, Cyrus's cards, you got Water Dragon or Hydro Dragon, whatever it's called, right? And then the Gate Guardian too, right? So... Guys, this was the expansion that came with Bastion. I believe they redid um, Jaden's deck in here and then the Paradox Brothers. So we will be opening this for sure just because we want the Secret Rare pack in here, guys. So guys, let's get started. We're gonna open five packs on top of this too. Give me one sec here. So guys, we will be opening two Darkwing Blast Blisters just to kind of end this video off and three packs of amazing defenders. I don't really need anything in this set per se. I'm not a fan of the collector rares that they did, but you know what? I might as well open at least a, like a handful of packs just because I always like to buy at least one product for the year or one sealed product of each theme every year. So guys, let's get started. We'll go straight into the midterm GX paradox box guys. So let's go get it guys. I hope you guys had some great holidays as well too, right? Whether it was vacation, whether you guys traveled for the holidays, or just spent time with your family and loved ones. Guys, I really hope you guys had great holidays. Uh, that's right, that's a double cut on me sealed here. Easier if I uh, got a knife or a box cutter. I shouldn't invest in one, guys. I really shouldn't invest in one. All right, let's go. I don't even know why I'm excited. <laughs> I guess it's just because I like opening sealed product. Come on. I've already... Oh, there's still a little bit of tape hanging on there. Alright. Boom! Alright, so, like I said, guys, we get a few Speed Duels decks. I think it's a total of two. Then we get also the Game Mat, guys, for Speed Duels. I believe it's double-sided, too. Alright, so... Hold on, y'all. I'll fold it off-camera because there's just no room to do this. But yeah, you guys can get the gist of it. So one side is going to be um, Jaden with Tempest. Actually, let's do this right. Can't disrespect one of the goats of the game. <laughs> right, so we got Jaden with Elemental Hero Tempest on the right side. And then we also have... Again, there's a good chance you guys have seen this, but for those of who haven't, right? Cyrus Truesdale, guys. So pretty sick. Um, you know, doubles, speed duels, match. Now, if we could get this on the real Z's, like a real play map, that'd be awesome. But, you know... Your boy can never win. <laughs> All right, guys. And like I said, so already we have the Jaden Speed Duels deck, Cyrus, and I believe mixed in is also the uh, Bastion and the Ga uh, Paradox Brothers, guys. So no need to really get into that. So our first promo card, guys, is a Hero Lives. This was one of my favorite reprints that they did for the set. I think when I went to Toronto back in October, I think I was actually trying... I actually ended up picking up three copies of a Hero Lives. All right, guys. Just because I couldn't find them here. I don't think anybody really opened it uh, here, guys. So Hero Lives Secret Rare, we got Gate Guardian. And guys, the Speed Duel Secret Rare is just slap and hit so differently. That Bubble Man is amazing. I think these are one of the few cards I actually wanted. And... 
Okay, we got one of the kaijus. Nothing really too wild. Uh, but if anything, guys, boom. Gate Guardian, Bubble Man, and a hero lives. That's what we're talking about, guys. That's what we're talking about. Let's grab a penny sleeve for the heroes, guys. Well, specifically for Bubble Man. Because, yeah, guys, like, who doesn't love secret rares? And, like, again, just, like, the printing on Speed Duels cards, it just, it, like I said, just hits so differently. All right, let's get started, guys. We'll start off with the latest set in the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG, guys. Amazing defenders. Can we get a collector's rare to start off the new year? All right, we got Double-Edged Sword. Minkeno Reflection Rondo. Rajon Rondo. <laughs> Uh, Mikenu Kagura, some uh, Gizmex, the Great uh, Mikano Ceremony, Rescue Ace Airlifter, and a super rare Isolate Two Tails of the Noble Knights. I believe this is a reprint, and it's actually a really good one as well, too, guys. Really good reprint. Let's go off into Darkwing Blast, guys. Can we get a Starlight Black Wing Dragon? Or can we pull more Bestial stuff? I think uh, Magnemite's already, what, closer to the 30, uh, just around 30s now? I haven't checked the value since I last did that video, or a week prior, or sorry, a week after I dropped my last video. Some Naturia cards, guys. Original Bamboo Sword, and Naturia's Blessing. Silent Wolf, Kalupu. Kashtira Preparations. Omen of the Goaties. Chilamet's Heartbeat. Salamander Catal Catalyzer. A super rare sprite double cross. Pretty useless super rare, but all these guys. Next up is Amazing Depen uh, Defenders Pack number two. Sweet! Oh, yeah. We got Infernoble Knights. Oh, okay. So, we got Mikano Water uh, Arab Skew. So, our first ultra rare. Not bad, actually. Uh, limited removal, that's right, got reprinted, Sprite's Blessing, Preparation of Rights, Armed Protector of Dragon, Aim, kind of promise. I wonder how many it is from the back of these uh, seven card packs. I always forget. Next, our last pack of oh, Darkwing Blast. Like I said, guys, this is going to be a fairly short video, just because I want to show you guys, you know, like, I know I always open sealed pod, but I think it's kind of cool to kind of, you know, find what kind of Yu-Gi-Oh! themed accessories you can find out there, too. Because like I said, guys, if you need just that one spare deck box, some spare sleeves, like, yeah, you're in a pack of penny sleeves, it was like $2. One of those packs of sleeves went for free, and you're getting better quality out of it, so. I don't know, guys. I thought it was pretty cool to find all these accessories. <laughs> all right, preparations. Chillman's Scream. Material Bowl Cricket, and a Blackwing Borstrom of... Sorry, Borstrom the Wicked Wing. All right, guys. And our last pack for today's opening, guys. Let's go. All right. We'll do three from the back this time, just in case. We got Igzy's Reborn. We got... I can't even read that. A Poorly Happiness? Card Trooper. Oh, that's a throwback to GX. Funny enough, right? <laughs> uh, Pyre Res Map. Igzy's Import. JDM Imports. And a Super Rare Meccano Fire Dance. All right, and like I said, guys, just a short pack opening there just to end the video right. So like I said, guys, if you are interested in picking up some pretty cheap accessories such as a $1 Karibo deck box, check out either GameStop's website or check out uh, GameStop, your local GameStop. And unfortunately, guys, as far as I know, this sale was Canadian only. So check out GameStop.ca, check out your local GameStop for some cheap Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG accessories. And for those of you that are also Pokemon fans or collect Pokemon while watching this video, I guarantee you they also had Pokemon products on sale too. So once again guys, this is your boy RSR from RSR Collection signing off. Take care, stay safe, let's have a great start to the new year. Deuces.